Hey everyone, this is Gwydion, and this is the first in a series of videos I'm going to do for tips and tricks for a program called RPG Sounds. RPG Sounds is a, is a very robust soundboard, and it's available for free on Steam. This is something I backed as a Kickstarter and a beta user, and they ended up releasing it free on Steam, which I think is awesome. Um, you can support them by purchasing downloadable packs, sound packs, but it's not a requirement. Um, I do it because I think they're awesome, so I do buy their sound packs, but you can upload all of your own sounds. So um, today's tip, what I wanted to get into is when you launch the player, and I'm running version 29.7, uh, if you can see it at the top left, but when you launch this, you can create your own sessions. But if you're like me, I do a lot of one shots. So I set up these soundboards and I might run a one shot two or three times. So I kind of want to save this version, but there's not an easy way to save it. So I think maybe over time they'll change that, but I want to show you a way to save both the sound set as well as there's a sound effects pad down here. So sound effects are meant to me maximize the sound effects you use, obviously, if um, you know you kind of want one shots. So let me show you. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my computer folder. So I've already saved a shortcut to RPG sounds, but whatever your username is, you're going to look in app data, local low, cast and play, and RPG sounds. Maybe I'll put something to that effect in the uh, as a link below. But depending on how many um, sound packs you have loaded. So I've loaded up a lot of my own sound packs that I own. So you may not have all of these different um, images that I have, but you will have sessions data, settings data, and SFX pad data. So this is what's saving your sessions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to copy and paste it. And since this is a Vossen Dance of Dreams, I'm just going to save this copy as we'll say, um, Settings, Vossen. Okay, so now I've got sessions data, which is what it's gonna pull from it, but now I have this kind of copy over here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete all this. And there might be a better way to do this, but um, let's just delete these files so you kind of know that all of these are getting deleted. So we'll delete these, we'll save it. So this is blank. And then I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna delete these scenes and the taverns. You know, actually, I don't know if I can delete the tavern, but I know I can delete the name. And then I think I have to keep this, but then delete that. Um, I guess for grins, let's go ahead and delete the, um, no, we'll keep the sound effects pad. So let's do this for a second. So now I'm going to close it down, close down the app. And then just, um, actually, I didn't need to do that. So now I'm gonna search for RPG sounds again, and you should see just the blank sound set because we we didn't save um so the sessions dot data file should just have a blank sound set now let's give it a minute to load and then it should just show blank sound set data all right looks like all of that's blank as you would expect okay so now let's shut this down now let's go back to the file and I'm just going to go straight to my shortcut, RPG Sounds. But let's scroll down here. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy just so I have this whenever I want it. So let's copy this again. And I'm going to call this, that's fine, Sessions Vossen Copy Data. So this is, again, the live um, data. And make sure that you either write this down or you remember it, Sessions.Data. So I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to rename the Vossen session that I set up to just sessions.data. So now that should be the live session. I still have this copy over here so I can load it later. And obviously you can make copies of any sound set you want, but now let's launch it. And now it should launch with my Vasen um, sounds loaded already. So let's give it a second. All right, so now you can see Dance of Dreams, Cozy Tavern. So you can see all my sounds are here. Um, I don't know if I have these sounds set to play, but let's see, might not have, uh, yeah, I don't think I have this set up. Or you can tell it's playing. I don't have the sounds live right now on OBS, but, but so really the concept's the same on this SFX pad. 
So let's just go down here. So again, if you wanted like different sound pads, depending on like if you're playing a horror or just a medieval RPG or whatever, you can go into this SFX pad data, copy this and paste it. So now I have this copy over here. And so let's go back. So the, the live data is sfxpad.data. So I'll minimize this. So if I clear, and you can clear all this data by just clicking on this and clearing it. So now if I log out, if I log back in, it should just show that sound effects pad should be empty. So it's going to load, but it shouldn't load anything because we deleted everything, right? So you still have my dance of dreams, which makes sense. Let's get rid of this. Quit. Let's go back to my SFX pad. So again, this was my, like, I'm going to call this, um, I don't know, SFX pad melee. Okay. So let's do, um, I'm going to copy and paste it to keep a copy of this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete. So it's SFX lowercase capital P. So let's delete the sound effects data. And then we're going to change this to SFX pad dot data. And now it should load when this loads, it'll load this one. So now it should load my sound effects pad that I had a couple of those sound sets loaded on them. So it should load these right here. There you go. So that's it. I know simple, quick video, uh, but for those of you who have not checked out uh, RPG sounds, I strongly encourage you to, again, it's free, very robust. I have another video. If I remember, I will link to it here. Um, but, uh, just showing kind of the, the base functionality, they do have an ability, um, not doing a good job showing it, but there you go. You can host an online game. When you do that, it creates a room and you can actually copy the link and give it to your players and they'll hear the sounds directly. So, um, I think I have that in another video that I'll link to. So that's it for today. I hope that's helpful and I hope you all check out RPG sounds for free on steam. See you next time.